hey guys good afternoon hope you all are doing well it's a rainy day today and I just wanted to film this video <laughs> notwithstanding the rain it's not raining too heavily like it's just drizzling yeah so um, I want to tell you guys a story of how I joined my husband here in Italy so this is more like a continuation of the last video well right now on my channel it's not the last video but I'm going to link that video in the comment section so that you can go and watch that one and get a better understanding of what I'm about to share with you guys in this particular video so after the wedding I think I stopped at the wedding after the wedding my husband left yeah this one is a long one as well so if we are not able to finish it i might complete it in another video uh, let's see how it goes after the wedding um, my husband stayed for one month both the wedding preparation the staycation honeymoon everything lasted for one month and then he traveled back to Italy I hope this rain doesn't spoil my phone because my phone is literally outside the umbrella <laughs> so he came back here in Italy while I stayed back but before he left I could remember praying and asking God God please you can see that my husband is about to leave I need someone to keep me company you know you guys understand that kind of prayer <laughs> so I said it and I meant it I wasn't joking about it I told God to give me someone that will keep me company when my husband leaves you know someone I can be chatting with interacting with even if I'm not seeing the person <laughs> so God answered my prayers I started having the symptoms even before he left but it wasn't um, that noticeable it wasn't that serious hold on guys let me change let me change hands this hand is paining me oh. And I'm with one other umbrella. See, this one is for Caleb. I'm going to pick only Caleb today. So, um, I started having the symptoms, but it wasn't that noticeable and serious. But my husband, before he left, I could remember telling him that I feel somehow. One day we went to Mr. Beans. Is he Mr. Beans or Mr. Big? Mr. Biggs? That restaurant, the fast food restaurant. We went there, we bought ice cream and other stuff and then we took it home. We came back home after eating the ice cream. I went to the toilet and started vomiting but I don't know what to call it at the, at the time. Oh, it's raining a bit heavily now. I didn't know what to call it at the time. So my hobby was asking me, are you okay, are you okay? I was telling him, are you sure? You know, like joke, like joke. I was like, are you sure it don't enter? <laughs> he was like, hmm, I want us to like enjoy marriage at least one whole year before anything go enter. Me, I was telling him that one is your business. I need someone to keep me company when you leave. I can't be staying lonely here. I, I like the idea of, you know, playing for one year before we start bearing children but because he was leaving me behind i couldn't like buy the idea at that time i wanted a child you know because i know that joining him is not today and tomorrow it's going to take some months before i could join him so i wanted a even if I'm pregnant before I join him, no problem. I just wanted a, a companion, <laughs> you understand? So, um, well, after everything, he eventually left. Um, I remember that date on the 5th of September, he left. I saw him off to the airport because 
come on now uh, was i supposed to stay back at home while he leaves it, it's not possible so i had to follow him to the airport with the driver that took us there and ooh, ooh, guys i cried my eyes out that day like i cried i crewed and crawled like i really cried because i knew i was going to miss him so much so much and once he leaves there's no returning back in a month's time two months time one even one year time so i cried but he left and then i went back to um the house and continued crying and then uh okay we stayed at someone's place in lagos because it was getting closer to when he he would travel back here so we went to lagos and stayed with a family friend so i went back to their house and stayed i don't know if i stayed up to a week there before i traveled back to the east to be with my mom for some time before i go stay with my parents in law you see the story is adding up right okay so i went back i traveled from lagos to east to be with my mom while i was in my mom's house i was feeling some type of way and then i had to um see my one of my church uh, midwife yes she's a midwife in our church back there in nigeria so um i went i explained how i was feeling she checked me and uh, said mm, she couldn't really feel anything now but she's going to give me a test kit so that when i travel to my parents in law's house okay i'm here as usual guys i'm here again to pick my kids um, to pick caleb so i'm going to stand here and finish this video oh the skin is skinning guys the skin is skinning okay so um she gave me a test kit Sorry guys, I'm trying to change my hand again because th this one is paining me. So, um, after giving me that, I went back to my... She told me how to use it and when to use it. I went back to my mom's place, stayed for a few days more. I packed my things and went down to be with my parents-in-law in the village. Oh, not in Lagos or... <laughs> in the village you see I'm, I'm a humble wife you know i'm an understanding wife you know you know some women would never like no matter what how you beg them no matter how you please them they will never they will choose to remain with their mother or their parents but even though i didn't accept in the first place because I didn't know who I was going to meet. You know, I've been hearing stories of how um, parents-in-laws, especially mothers, mother-in-laws, uh, are treating their daughter-in-law. So I didn't know what I was going to jam. I, I didn't know what I was going to expect. I don't know if I'm making. Am I making sense? Say, tell me in the comment section if I'm making sense. So I was a bit skeptical about it when hobby suggested that i go stay with his parents just to get to know them not that he's forcing me to do it you know i could have said no if i didn't want to but i thought it was a good suggestion to go be with them to kind of um get to know them better because once i joined my husband i don't know when when else when next <sighs> i don't know when next I will get to you know stay with them for a long period of time to kind of get to know each other so um, I had to go I was going but I wasn't too sure of what to expect 
I wasn't too sure if they were going to like me or not. Of course, I've gone there before, but I didn't spend much time. I just went to visit, to greet them, to say hi. They came to pay my bride price. We've been seeing each other, but to like live with them for months before I go join my hobby. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how they were going to welcome and treat me. But I summoned courage. I went there and I saw, like, what I saw was not what I was expecting. I was expecting this, um, you know, this commanding mother-in-law, this mother-in-law that would be so commanding and so entitled and so strict. I went there and saw my second mother. She took me like her last born. My father-in-law doesn't play nor joke with me. Like he could spend, oh, he's late now. He could spend his last card on me just to make me happy. Okay, so I went after some days, I started feeling more weird than how I felt in our nature. By the way, my mom was staying in our nature then he's she's still in our nature though yeah so i started feeling a bit more weird so i had to thank god i didn't forget the test kit that the midwife gave to me so i had to make use of it like I, when i was doing it i couldn't wait to see a positive result because this is what i wanted so much i did i did it in my room and I was shaking, I was shivering, I was so happy. <laughs> Let me not stay. Let me check the time. Okay, this is 12.57. I have three more minutes before they dismiss. So I was so happy to see what the result will say. And then I kept it. It was reading, 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 reading. She told me when to know if it is positive or not because that's my first time trying such thing i never try them before so <laughs> i'm not supposed to know how it works and uh, even if it is written on the distance she told me and i had to take the one she told me i didn't bother reading the what they wrote on the carton there so um when the the test came out it came out positive that <sighs> i was pregnant and I knelt down, I cried, I prayed, I thanked God. I, I was so happy. I didn't know how to react at the moment. I had to wait to be sure before I let my mother-in-law know because I don't want to be like, eh, Mommy, I'm pregnant the next day. Mm, it was a mistake. No, I didn't want such situation. So I told her, I told her when it was right. But I think I told, no, what, what am I saying? I think I told my hobby first, yes, before I told my mother-in-law. My hobby was happy about the news, at least, you know men now, at least he's now sure that uh, his woman is reproductive, you know. <laughs> but he wasn't really happy because like he told me before he left, he said he wanted us to um, play for at least one year before we you know start planning children they are coming out i almost forget this one okay guys um remind me where we stopped okay leave it in the comment section where did we stop he didn't want to have children in less than a year like he wanted us to play for one year before we start having children that's where we stopped okay so when i come back i'm going to continue from there thank you